Solar power is a free source of energy. You can use this free and unlimited energy source to work the electrical appliances in your house and at the same time you can charge your battery too. You can also save money by not using the electricity that you were using for these two things. To use solar power, you need to install a solar powered system in your house. There are three types of solar systems, DC system, off-grid and on-grid solar system. In this video, we will understand how off-grid solar power system works. Off-grid solar system is an independent system that minimally uses the electricity coming from the power station. It converts the solar energy into electricity and works the load in your house while charging the battery. In an off-grid solar system, mains and solar charge controller are inbuilt. With the help of solar charge controller, you can charge the battery connected with the system with solar power and run the load in your house as well. When solar power is not available, you can run the appliances with the help of mains. You can easily connect the off-grid solar system with the solar panel and can use free solar power to the maximum. Brainy Eco can run with both mains and solar power. In an off-grid solar system, there are many smart working conditions to run the load in your house and charge the battery. Now we have connected 300 watt panel in parallel with the system. Along with this, you can install 150H or 1800 watt battery. Let us assume the appliances in your house like the fan, bulb or TV which you want to run with free solar energy, you have connected them to Brainy Eco. This smart solar home UPS will run all these appliances very easily and can intelligently charge the battery as well. Let us understand this in detail. Condition number 1. Let us assume that the solar off-grid system is getting 300 watt solar power from 300 watt solar panel and the electrical appliances in your house that you want to run through solar energy will require 200 watt power. So in this condition, the system will use 200 watt out of 300 watt to run the load and remaining 100 watt will be used to charge the battery. In this condition, we can see that off-grid solar system will first focus on running the appliances with free solar energy and then will focus on using the remaining energy to charge the battery. You can see here that to get both these work done, solar power is enough. That is why this smart off-grid system does not use main supply, which helps you save on electricity bill. Condition number 2. 300 watt solar panel is only producing 200 watt power and you are still running 200 watt appliances. The off-grid system will use the entire energy to run these appliances. In this condition, the battery will not get charged but will also not get discharged. In this condition also, the main supply will be cut. Condition number 3. 300 watt solar panel is generating 100 watt solar power and you are running 200 watt appliances. You might be thinking that this off-grid system will take remaining 100 watt from mains and run it. But this is not the case. You have connected an 1800 watt battery with the off-grid solar system, which was getting charged by solar power. In this condition, the appliances will run by taking 100 watt from the battery and not mains. In this condition, the 1800 watt battery will discharge slowly by 100 watt. After understanding all the conditions thoroughly, we have come to the conclusion that an off-grid solar system utilizes solar power to the maximum and uses it to run free solar power and charge the battery effectively, and hence saves your electricity bills. In an off-grid system, how and when the mains gets connected to the system has different conditions. As you can see in this condition, the 1800 watt battery connected to the system is slowly getting discharged by 100 watt because the power received by the solar panel is not enough to run the load. In the first condition, when the battery reserve will remain 70%, the mains will get connected to the system. This condition is very beneficial for those who want to keep more reserve in their battery so that when solar and mains both are unavailable or there is frequent power cut in their area, then they can run the appliances in their house with the reserve for a longer time. For those areas where power cut is less 
and if you want to take backup from solar charged battery then you can keep the battery reserve to 50% or 30%. In the discharge mode when there will be 50% or 30% in the battery then the mains power will get connected in the system. As soon as the mains gets connected in the off-grid solar power system, the load in your house will run on bypass mode in mains power. During this time, if solar power is available, then this system will utilize this power to charge the battery. After understanding all these conditions, we can see that an off-grid solar power system uses just one power source at a time to run the load. If solar power is available, then the load will run through solar power and the mains will disconnect the power. If less power is generated through mains, then the remaining power will be taken from battery to run the load. In this condition also, the system disconnects the mains. At any time to run the load, it does not use the solar and mains power together. You can use the mains power to charge the battery if you want. As you can see that the 100 watt power generated by Brainy Eco solar panel is used to charge battery from which an 1800 watt battery will get discharged slowly. As you can see that the 100 watt power generated by the solar panel is used to charge battery from which an 1800 watt battery will get charged slowly because to charge the battery properly 180 watt power is required. We are getting 100 watt from the solar panel right now. The remaining 80 watt is taken from the mains to charge the battery efficiently, but it will never overcharge it. This feature is called intelligent charging sharing. You will not get this feature in any normal off-grid solar UPS. If you want, you can switch off the mains charging with the help of a switch in this off-grid solar power system so that you can save your electricity bill and you can use it when it is required. In this case, the battery will never get charged by mains. As soon as you will enable the switch, the battery will start getting charged by mains. So if you want to save your electricity bill and want to generate your own electricity with the help of solar power, then get a smart off-grid solar system in your house.